you know, you made some interesting observations on moonlighting, and you right. actually, I mean, a lot of people were retrenched at in, because they were moonlighting. Um, do you believe that that's just a complete no 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 go right. as far as, as and you know what were some of your thoughts when when you actually took that decision? Right. So Vishnu, first of all, I think this has been highly blown out of proportion. It's become highly sort of a story for the sake of becoming a story. One to me, moonlighting simply means that you know some having a second job secretively, and I think that is against just the commitment you make sure. morally and contractually to the organization you serve. I'm totally in support of people having a life outside of their job, people doing other things and focusing on other interests and hobbies. But to work for a direct competitor, to work on a job sure. that compromises your impactfulness on your current job, I think is wrong. I think people also confuse the word moonlighting, which means having a second job secretively yeah. with the gig economy and flexibility. Sure. And they're distinctly different things. Right. And I think confusing those two things also leads to more controversy than needed. So, uh, yeah. Okay, fair enough. So, you know, you basically the message is: if you are working for us, you be committed to us and our cause. I mean, that's the bottom and be line. Transparent, so be you know, transparent. You know, we have a to top go code of go elsewhere. We have a crowdsourcing platform where right. 1.5 million people sit. We leverage that platform, mm -hmm. so we're incredibly supportive of the gig economy. Right. That's very different from having a commitment contractually to your company, which you are then violating. They're different sure. things, and we shouldn't confuse the two. Let's talk about sustainability. That's something Wipro has focused on a long time back. Sustainability is the big buzzword this time around. Tell us a little bit, tell our viewers a little bit about how you are taking forward that sustainability mission within Wipro. Yeah. So one is, you know, I attended a dinner last night, I attended a breakfast this morning mm -hmm. on sustainability. So mm -hmm. I find it is much more a front mm -hmm. and center agenda than it's ever been mm -hmm. here in Davos. So that I've had a conversation over the last uh, few years. We are incredibly committed to it, Vishnu. So we've committed as an organization to transform to net zero by 2040 with an interim target of 55% by 2030. Two big components of that are uh, renewable energy in all our campuses by 100% by 2030 mm -hmm. and electric mobility mm -hmm. for all our mobility requirements within, mm -hmm. within the company by 2030. So those are two interim big targets mm -hmm. and we're progressing well, well in advance of those commitments but that's an incredibly important thing the other big learning for us Vishnu has been an obsessive communication mm -hmm. with your stakeholders about understanding the importance of sustainability so having open conversations with your with your employees with your customers and your suppliers that hey look this is going to become more and more important for us as we move forward so really taking people along but I think the realization that you cannot not do something about this on a urgent basis has become very profound across stakeholders and certainly among corporations as well. 